Do you want to improve the sound of your drum kit but don't know which drum heads to choose? Well, here we present a small guide to help you select the best options according to your personal taste. Wanna learn more? So stay in tune because today in Code Reaper we will be talking about the basics of drum heads. To begin, drum heads are divided into two different types, striking heads and resonant heads. The striking head, as its name suggests, is the one that receives the impacts of the drumstick when played. Because of this, it is thicker and more durable than its counterpart, the resonant head, which goes on the bottom and is responsible for projecting our sound. Drum heads are classified by the number of layers, the type of surface and their finishes. Single layer drum heads offer a more open sound with a graded resonance and brightness. Being thinner and lighter, impacts are absorbed to a lesser extent, resulting in increased vibration. They are commonly used for bass drums, but can also be used for the rest of pieces in your drum kit. While these drum heads are more prone to breaking, they are by no means a poor product. In fact, they are the most common in the market and are frequently used for budget drum kits used by beginners. Double layer drum heads offer more volume, graded attack and a good definition. These drum heads are much more durable than the single layer ones, producing a heavier, drier and deeper sound. Due to their double layer construction, the rebound of drumsticks is lower and they are much less prone to break than the single layer drum heads. When looking at the surface of a drum head, it is common to find transparent, white and black variations. However, there are also other colored options, which at the first glance might seem to contribute only the aesthetics but actually have a significant influence on the drum head sound. Smooth surfaces are the most common, offering a sound with plenty of sustain and harmonic range. Single layer variants of this type often produce a more open and organic sound. Examples of smooth surfaces in single layer drum heads include the Power Center models by Evans and the Power Stroke by Remo. Now, in the case of double layer drum heads, a smooth surface may include a circle in the middle to eliminate unwanted harmonics. Striking the drumstick in the circle not only extends the drum head's lifespan, but also allows for better sound control. Examples of this include Remo's controlled sound models and Aquarian's clear power dot. Rough surfaces, as the name suggests, have an irregular texture that creates a different contact with drumsticks, especially when playing with ruots. This type of drum head is widely used for jazz due to its versatility and produced resonance, which is impossible to achieve with a smooth surface. Examples of this type include Aquarian's JD14 and Evans G1 and G2. In the market, there is the hydraulic drum head, also known as the oil drum head. This type has two layers with a small amount of this liquid in between. This is designed to further control or sound compared to drum heads with a circle in the middle. The oil reduces brightness and sustain, resulting in a sound with a created attack. It also eliminates unwanted harmonics. These drum heads are very durable and are mainly used in styles such as rock or metal. Examples include Evans hydraulic and Remo's pinstripe. The 
the most commonly used materials are polyester, nylon and miller. They are all extremely durable and differ based on thickness, depending on the manufacturer and the desired sound. When the material is thin, it has a clear tonal definition and a flat response. When the material is thicker, it has a gridded response in a low frequency. And that's it! If you want to know more about drum heads, I invite you to subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming videos as we will continue discussing this. If you enjoy it, leave us a like and a comment. We will be happy to read them. So thank you so much for staying with us today and we will see you in the next one.